For 6a, we have another application of a right triangle. There's a lake that's given here. A to C is the distance across the lake. And we're given this triangle here. They give us some information. They tell us that the bearing from B to A is north 55.15 degrees west and your distance from B to A is 70. Okay, now first let's draw the bearing in. Now, don't make the mistake of putting 55.15 inside the triangle. Remember, bearing is always measured from the north or the south. So in this case, we got we have to draw a line like this. Let's we can even make a dotted line. Dotted line there. This angle is 55.15. Bearing is always measured from the north or the south. So we drew in a line here that's north. 55.15 is there. And then we said that this distance from A to B is 70. They're asking us for this distance from A to C. So I'm going to call that one uh, X for the missing one. Okay, so we have to set up a trig function that relates the, the side we're trying to find with the side that's already given. So in this case, uh, we have an angle that we're going to use is actually not going to be 55.15 we need to find this angle inside the triangle. That's the only way the definitions will work. If we try and do an opposite, we have to know what that angle is. To get that angle, what you're going to do is you're going to take 90 minus 55.15. Why is it 90? Because this side right here would be a right angle. And so if, if this is 90 all the way across and you subtract the 55.15, you're going to get the angle left over inside the triangle. So we have to do that 90 minus 55.15 and you're going to get uh, from this one 34.85 will be uh, what that's equal to. So this is 34.85 degrees inside there. When we set up the triangle we want to set up a trig function that relates the opposite because x is what we're trying to find and the one that's given is hypotenuse. So the trig function that relates the opposite and hypotenuse would be sine. So I'm going to do sine 34.85 degrees is going to equal, we use the trig definition, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is x over hypotenuse, which is 70. Then you're going to cross multiply it, and you're going to x is 70 sine 34.85. 85 degrees. When we do this, we want to make sure the calculator is in degree mode. So when we put punch this into the calculator, uh, the distance from A to C is going to be about 40 meters. So it says uh, round it to the nearest meter, and so that's what it would be. It would be 40. Okay, so that's the first thing that they asked for. They asked for the uh, the distance from uh, A to C. Then they also want the distance from uh, C to B. Okay, so this one uh, would be the other distance that's, that's used there. So let me erase this because we already know that that angle inside is 34.85. I'll just call that one Y. And we're going to set up another trig function uh, based on that. Now we already used, we used sine before. Now this time we want to find this one. So we want to use, we're going to do cosine because we have an adjacent here over hypotenuse. So last time we had opposite over that one, that was sine. This time, this, this side, uh, CB, that's the adjacent side. And so we're gonna use a cosine of this one. 30, we're still gonna use 34.85. We're gonna have it equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. That's Y over 70. We're gonna cross multiply. And we get Y is equal to 70 cosine 34.85 and then when we punch that into the calculator for that one we're going to get again round to nearest whole number we get 57 meters so you're always looking for how you know what trig function to use you want to pick the trig function that relates the side you're trying to find with the side that's given so for the first one if you want to solve for side AC that's an opposite side and hypotenuse was 70 for the other one we want to solve for CB, that would be an adjacent side, and we have enough hypotenuse. So we pick cosine because that's the trig definition that relates the adjacent and the hypotenuse.